Hi fans, uh, um, I wanted to do a video explaining a bit about my background with my arts because I know I did um, I, um, promise you that I would do this. So basically my creativity began when I was say, oh, probably about 10, it started at a very young age. Um, I used to write about horses because my folks, my dad has always owned horses so we always had horses and dogs on the small holding. So and I remember the first story I wrote was about a black Welsh cob and it was quite ironic because later I actually did own a black Welsh cob. And anyway she had her adventures in the forest where she'd meet other characters and, and my mum has actually still kept those stories to this day. So it began then really um, and I, I never lost my love of art and um, that continued um, throughout my teenage life as well. So I've got my portfolios here and I want to show you like different, if you like, different stages that have happened in my art. So um, so yeah, I only had it upside, sorry I had it upside down, but this is this way guys. Um, so when I first did painting, I went to a lot of textures. I mean I still love textures today. And as you will see, as you will see in my latest work, especially my latest journal, that there's a lot of texture in there. And then now I want to read you because I kind of always swap between art and poetry. So now I'm going to have to turn this round again, guys, because obviously I'm not going to read upside down. And now that I'm, I decided to write a few poems about dementia because at the time I was learning. Uh, art therapy course and we did about dementia so I'm just going to read you one now guys it's called out because when people have dementia they often see things in the mirror which aren't there so this is called outside inside what you what you see may not be me chimes the bells of faithful talk shaping my world in blobs riots to black wriggly worms in the light beats the shadow, comes to life Eden. Adam and Eve, my constant muse, always the life of vertigo. What you see may not be me, as my flesh bewitching, comes a beauty of the inner eye, the bells of constant ringing. So again, that's somebody obviously going back on their life, who obviously attended church. And, you know, they're just trying to deal with, you know, all the other emotions that is going through them. And I'm just going to do one more. It's called Not Perfect. Things spick and span, dare to dream, upon a fading state, quivering with these chains. Portraits, obscure lines, missing an ear or there, defining the norm, no glamour for the stars. Here I am, exploring the Milky Way. More red lines, I would not be set as stone. So again, you know, that again, that's them again. I suppose that's again um, going through their emotional, their emotional feelings. So, but yeah, so as I said, that's all about texture. So that was really the first stage of my painting was texture. Then I went through a stage of exp um, experimenting with ink. So this is all done in ink. I think this is where my love of sumi began as well, which is basically Japanese um, painting drawing. So that was using ink splodges. And um, and there's poems, or there's also poems in here as well. So there's different drawings here. Um, oh yeah, and there's um, my tiger here. My mini little tiger. And, and Denise. Um, is another painting there. That's a painting I did. Again, I wanted to catch the atmosphere. So, sort of, you know, imagine this girl in the woods, you know, she's thinking, what direction do I go next? And and in life, we can do that. We can wonder what direction we should go in. Um, and again, there's more ink there. So that was the next stage. And the next, um, so the stage after that, I started to dabble with clay. Um, now I used air dry clay. Um, I would, you know, I would have liked to have used other clay, but I haven't got a kiln. And uh, you know, as potters know, kiln costs a lot of money. 
um, and, and because we don't own our own property it's not like we can make our own fire pit so anyway so I used air dry clay of course I picked my favorite subject which is a horse so I experimented with that um, I also experimented I combined I also experimented with metal actually a bit as well I did this theme, theme where I got um, a load of fairy lights and made it all light up and it was brilliant actually because the reflection of the light was reflection different lights um, on the metal and that's my first face I did out of clay so that's the another stage and then the next stage uh, my work did start to get noticed um, now this is going back years ago now this is going back towards the three counties it was called this is when I was living in West Wales before I met my husband and I li I was working with Wales Dyslexia um, which is a company um, and I actually done um, I done an article about dyslexia in that magazine which you know got published um, uh, my, also, my work also appeared in Poets Corner um, which is a local mag uh, it's a local magazine um, that seaside news so that's in, so I had my work published in seaside news so that was that stage um, so we come to the present so the present stage I would say my art has developed I'm definitely leaning more towards Sumi so I'm leaning more towards the you know the strokes of the brush you know the wispy lines um, I still love texture, though that's never gone. Um, colours wise, it all depends on the subject, the colours. You know, like some, I think I tend to go more towards rich colours than bright colours. Um, you know, like rich um, ebony's, rich greens, you know, like um, aubergine and rich colours like that. Um, and of course, as you know, guys, I have been doing journals for the first time as well. I did do a similar thing um, where I used to make, I used to do uh, poems with fr with a photo frame and I put a bit of art in them. Um, so, and I also done like a mini, mini journal for my friend's wedding as a present. So I have sort of like dabbed into journals before, but not actually really gone into it like I have recently where I bought a book from a charity shop. I've altered it, changed the cover. I, I like to leave some of the original book in there. Um, so they called it so they call it altered books. Um, so and I as you know I just recently done another commission and um, I think I would say my new love is felting. I really that's my that's the stage I'm at now, you know, I really do want to work a lot more with fabrics and and do a lot more felting and and also i want to do felting sort of do animal portraits with felting um i mean I, as you know from my videos i you know i love painting animals as well drawing them and um but i really want to start felting as well you know different scenes animals landscapes so yeah i hope you enjoyed that guys um now if you ever do want to contact me um you can email me at church right gmail.com you know if you would for example be interested in me doing a commission of your animal or or just even just to have a general chat about art you know maybe you're an artist yourself and you know you I mean, you know I mean you, you may you know you may have many more years experience than me but you know it's just it's just nice to communicate with people it's nice to connect with people so um so yeah I want to say thank you for watching guys and again I always love your support you give me so thank you guys. Bye.